online yoga in the comfort of your own home or a local yoga class in your community. Today we're going to look at the benefits and the drawbacks to both and the goal is to help you find the right path for your own personal yoga journey. I'm Micah and I'm a yoga teacher and yoga therapist passionate about helping you stay strong, flexible, vibrant, and pain-free through the years with yoga. Let's dive in. Starting with a few advantages of doing your yoga practice online at home. Number one, time and scheduling. It can be challenging to find a time to do a yoga class at a studio that fits in with your schedule. With online yoga, the classes are on demand, which means they're available for you anytime, so you can do your yoga practice whenever works best for you. Even if you just have a spare 15 minutes, you can roll out your yoga mat, hit play, and get your yoga practice in as opposed to carving out more than an hour of your day to go to a class, not even accounting for the time it takes to drive there and back. Okay, number two, the second benefit to online yoga at home is personalization. Instead of a more general group yoga class where it's geared towards everybody in the class like they do in studios and at gyms, with online yoga, you can choose very specific practices and programs that are more in line with what you're working towards. For example, I have an online yoga membership called Lifelong Yoga Online. And inside, I have targeted yoga programs that you can work through, like a program to build core strength, a program to improve your posture, I know that's a very popular one, and a series to improve your flexibility. The third advantage of doing your yoga at home is cost. Online yoga is often much, much more cost effective than doing yoga in person. Prices do vary, but so you can get an idea, an example, my online yoga membership, Lifelong Yoga Online, is $29 a month for unlimited yoga classes. And it's even more affordable if you sign up to be an annual member. Even if you only did yoga three times a week, that would work out to about $2 a class. And depending on where you live, because like I said, it really does vary, yoga memberships, yoga unlimited memberships in studios can be over $100 and single classes can cost $20 to $30 easily. So when you look at it that way, online yoga is much more cost effective. And finally, this is my own personal favorite advantage of doing online yoga at home, and that's just the comfort of being in your own home. You just get on your mat, hit play on your computer or whatever device you're using, and just start moving. It's that simple. You don't have to put makeup on. You don't have to get in your car and drive anywhere. You don't have to worry about socializing before and after class. And I know some of us may really enjoy that aspect of class, but maybe not the introverts among us. And you can even do yoga in your pajamas. No fancy yoga outfit required. No one's watching you, so you can move intuitively in ways that feel good to you and truly explore your yoga practice without fear of judgment or comparison. Okay, moving on now to advantages of in-person group yoga classes. And I actually do teach online yoga as well as in-person classes, so I feel like I have a pretty good handle on the benefits and drawbacks of both. With in-person classes, first of all, there are a lot less distractions. When you're in a home environment, you're not in a neutral space, so there are a lot more distractions when you're practicing yoga at home. Things are going to come up that try to take you away from your practice. So maybe your kids or your dog need you, uh, your phone will ring, maybe you get distracted by wanting to check your email on the phone or you have your to-do list in the back of your mind that's really hard to set aside while you're at home because you're in the midst of everything you need to be doing. And it's really easy to let these distractions disrupt your practice. So it can be helpful to get out of your home and go to a studio class where there are no distractions. So if you want to do yoga at home, you just have to be really disciplined with your time and your attention. Second advantage of in-person classes is 
teacher guidance. In an in-person class, if you have an old injury or you are dealing with pain of some kind or limited mobility, you can ask a teacher for guidance on how to modify certain yoga poses for you. And that's harder to do with online yoga. That's harder for me as a teacher to provide for people. So if you are a beginner, especially at yoga, um, and you're not sure how to modify the practice for your body, then this can be challenging. I've been teaching yoga a very long time now, and I've worked with hundreds of students' bodies through the years. And over that time, I've learned some general variations and modifications that do apply to a lot of people. So I do offer those up in my online classes. And in Lifelong Yoga Online, we actually have a message board specifically for your yoga questions. So you can ask anything that comes up for you during your practice, whether it be why we're doing a certain pose or how to make that pose work better for your body, anything like that. And this is my way of offering guidance, even though I'm not there with you in person. This next one is a big one, community. Community is so important for your health, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. When you're gathering with like-minded people over a common belief or passion or goal, that can contribute to a feeling of meaning or purpose, which positively affects our well-being. So connecting with others in yoga class, moving and breathing together in sync is a really special thing and also just really great for your health. Online community is harder to facilitate, obviously. Now, if you're already getting that, that community connection with others in some way in your life, whether that be pickleball or church or volunteering, anything like that, then you're probably good to get your yoga practice at home. But if you don't already have community built into your life elsewhere, then I do strongly encourage you to cultivate that connection with others in some way. And finally, in-person yoga classes provide a structured and disciplined environment. A fixed class schedule can help you maintain regularity in your yoga practice, which is especially helpful when you are starting something new. In person, I hold group yoga classes in series where students meet at a set time and day each week. So it's on their calendar, no matter what, for six weeks they've committed, they show up and do this wonderful thing for their health. Staying motivated to keep going, keep moving on a regular basis can be more difficult at home. There's a lot less accountability. It's easier to skip sessions, especially if you're feeling tired or maybe, maybe a little lazy. So I have found that in order to be successful sticking with your yoga, doing it at home, you really do need some kind of program or plan to stick with. Most of us need this. And I've built this in to Lifelong Yoga Online. I hold programs and challenges that we go through together as a community for accountability, support, and structure. There's lots of encouragement along the way and sometimes even prizes to keep you going. Having a home yoga practice is absolutely doable, but overall, you just have to decide that this is something that you really want in your life. Only you can make this decision to go all in and improve your health. You have to decide to do it and then take action. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you prefer to do your yoga at home or in person in a group class, or maybe a little bit of both. And I would really love to hear why. What are your reasons behind it? And if you are looking for the convenience, comfort, and flexibility of doing yoga from the comfort of your own home, then I welcome you to join Lifelong Yoga Online. It's a monthly membership with yoga programs to help you meet your goals on your own pace and on your schedule. Go to lifelong.yoga or just click on the link down in the description to join us and make yoga a lifelong practice. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.